guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here recording on Friday, August 4th. Uh, you guys are seeing this on Saturday. We didn't have a video for today because that was away. I just got home. We're recording now. We'll have a pod for you guys Sunday as well. We're, we're, we we kept up the same schedule. I was late on one episode. Hand up my bad. Uh, I fell asleep. <laughs> that was what a disaster. I, I fell asleep. What do you want from uh, I, I The best was the this. guy that commented and was like, there's no audio. I had a hernia. I, I was on the golf course. I had a heart attack. No, but. The Wi-Fi in the house we we rented out for the week on the Cape was like bad. So like Welcome the to my podcast, world, buddy. well the podcast took two hours to upload to YouTube every time I wanted to do it, and Ugh. I just fell asleep and my computer screen locked and it was a mess. It was a disaster, but we're good. We got past it. The pod actually did still all right. It's almost at a thousand anyway, so it's okay. But today we are reacting to Mr. Peyton Pritchard because there is a video going around on Twitter right now um, of him cooking. Jalen Brunson have not seen at, this. at the uh, Team USA, Team USA Select Scrimmages. Um, the Celtics Files shared it to Twitter here, so we're going to take a look. Uh, I assume you have audio, but this yep, is I can hear Pritchard it. on Jalen. Getting right by him. And just, oh, it, it's overpowers him. That's what I'm saying. This is, right a, this is an open run layup. Just Statue of Liberty goes mm-hmm. up with the opposite hand and says, nobody's going to stop me. Help yeah. defense guy on the weak side there. Don't care. Left hand. Right by Jalen Brunson. And then, I mean, we can't act like it was all rain and, and or excuse me, sunshine and rainbows is what I was trying to say. Uh, this also happened at uh, USA Select Team scrimmages. I think this was Paolo Bancaro on it. Yeah, I can't Paolo. exactly tell. But he did not exactly come close to making it. That's okay. You know, it happens sometimes. Oh, gotta shoot. Shoot or shoot. That's the uh, the Michael Scott meme. <laughs> Three right here, right here. Three. <laughs> oh man, no. But in in all seriousness, like I wanted to use this Jalen Brunson video because it was going viral on Twitter. Uh, one, it's cool to see the level because, like, usually, I mean, if you ask anybody, Jalen Brunson is very clearly a better player overall than Payne Pritchard, right? But they're he all the our team. Yeah, <clears throat> he did not. Sam doesn't know the 2020. He didn't All-Star. make the All Star team. <laughs> no. <laughs> How did he not make the All Star team? There was a big circle jerk for Brunson the whole season. No. Nah. You're telling me the fans didn't vote him in? Fans don't don't control the bench players. Hold on. <clears throat> Are we fact checking me again? We did I this with Darren Jackson. This. Julius Randle made it. <clears throat> Tyrese Halliburton made it. Drew Holiday made it. That's Jalen right. Brunson did yeah, not. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. But what are you going to do? I what what I was going to say is this just goes to show like all NBA players are good. <laughs> like every single player in the NBA is a top what 200 player in the on the planet. Like, I would love to see how good Peyton Pritchard would be if he played against the Celtics cuz then he'd even be better. That's how it goes. Everyone truth. that plays the Celtics is just nasty. Yep. I mean Pritchard dropped what 90 points in a pro am last summer, something like that. Something like stupid. That stuff never impresses me. I, I don't care if you're like, unless you're playing against literal children, 90 points is 90 points. That's obscene to do that. Not, not even from the perspective of, oh, he's just clearly better than them Th- to score 90 points in 40 minutes of time like that. Just just the, to, to get that many buckets in that amount of court time. Like it has nothing to do with him obviously being better, but like he probably played what 40 minutes in that game and he scored 90 points like f- from purely a, a points per minute perspective. That's crazy to me. Yeah, it's a carry job. What's Clearly, it called? Harry Giles had a big pro am game, and everyone's like, 40 he's all the way right? back. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, and then you tweeted out. So the, the the team USA played the select team. This happens every year. The team USA team when they go to the FIBA World Cup, they bring out a guy. Excuse me, they bring out a team of younger guys to scrimmage. That's how it worked. You tweeted, Peyton Pritchard owns them because <laughs> in both of the ten minute scrimmages. That team USA played against the team select team as I try to quell my cough. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the select team won both games. The main FIBA World Cup USA roster didn't win either of them. And obviously, like I said, these are all NBA players, right? Like, like they're all good. They're all there for a reason. However, Sam, right. have you seen the select team? It's Peyton Pritchard, uh, Chet, 
Jalen Williams. Well, it's on the screen now. Here you go. You yeah. know who the best dude on this team is? Is uh, Langston Calloway. Yeah, that's the photo. That's the guy to use for the photo. Oh, I didn't even realize he was the photo. That's how tired I am. I was just looking through the team. I was like, I know there was somebody the first time I looked at this that I was like, he does not deserve to, or not deserve, but he just doesn't fit with the rest. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Another. When is the last time Langston Galloway played an NBA game? Last year? He was on the Pistons recently and the Pelicans. Let me look. Let's see if I was right. 21 22. Yeah. He was from Brooklyn and okay. Milwaukee. Seven games total. And the Phoenix the year prior. <clears throat> um, John Jenkins, another interesting one. <laughs> um, just like, like this, it's filled with random people like Eric Micah. John Jenkins, and then the rest outside of them are uh, actual young NBA players. Uh, Jalen Williams, good player. Obviously, Cade Cunningham, Jalen Duran, Jalen Green, Chet Holmgren. Like, this is a good team, but like, they're beating this team twice in a row. Bancaro, Bridges, Brun. And as much as this isn't obviously like, right, this is like, fri- these are the fringe NBA All Stars, realistically. No, a lot of these guys are really quality. I mean, Brennan Ingram's been an All Star. Halliburton was an all-star. Jared Jaron Jackson, Jackson Jr., uh, to my new knowledge, has been an all-star. Yep. <laughs> Mikhail Bridges will Jill be Brunson an all-star. Was not. Like you said, Mikhail Bridges, Paolo is on his way. Edwards. These Edwards guys are all all-star. great players. It's just mm-hmm. crazy that the difference between them and this select team can't be that great. I mean, they're all still learning how to play together, too. Also very true, yeah. It's just... Yeah, they're all NBA players at the end of the day. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was Peyton Pritchard's role with the Celtics. We don't have to spend too much time on it. We've discussed it on pods before. I don't know what, like, uh, angle you want to take it. Like, are we talking minutes? Are we talking how impactful he can be? I truly think people are ha- have discussed a potential Peyton Pritchard trade so much, which we've done, too. I mean, it's the offseason. we got to do it. You have to. Um, what and choice he's, do we have? Exactly. And he's talked about the idea of moving on from the Celtics that people are sort of discounting him as a reliable player on this team, especially with the way that he he didn't get in the rotation last year. Peyton Pritchard was like a legitimate rotation piece on the team that made the finals. And people don't remember that because he didn't play sure. a lot in Udoka system to start the year. But by the end of the year, he was playing actual minutes for that Celtics team. And he played in the playoffs. And even in the year before that, his rookie season, he was like... He has played real roles on the Celtics before, and and obviously you have Derek White and Malcolm Brogdon, so it's not going to be as great as you might have seen with him as the primary backup without either of those guys on the team, or he was just primarily backing up Marcus Smart. But to discount him to me is crazy because not only can he play point guard, and he's shown that he can handle the ball and he can play make a little bit, He's also like a 40% three point shooter in his career. Like he, he can shoot. And even if you want to roll him out, he can play next to either one of those guys. It might not be the best defensively and you want to roll out double bigs most of the time, but like you have some line lineup flexibility because he can't shoot so well, which is important, especially in Joe Mazzula's three point system. To me, the playoff experience is the big winning thing with Peyton Pritchard. He has had plenty of opportunity throughout that finals run even in his first season, he got a couple minutes because there was literally nobody on the team in that 2021 series against the Nets. But he was legitimately good when he was given opportunities in 2022. He had a 10-point fourth quarter against the Nets in game two as Celtics stormed back, made some big shots. I think he had 18 points against Miami in game one of the conference finals. He has proven that he can play on the bigger stage, and you can trust him. This is something we kind of got into when we were talking about Sam Hauser earlier this week. and. Hauser is not a guy that has playoff experience. Missoula did not trot him out there last year. He didn't get minutes in the 2022 run. He played Pritchard over him. Correct. Probably because he trusts Pritchard's experience and his ability to show up when the lights are bright. It seems like Peyton Pritchard is built for those small opportunities that come within a season when you are a out-of-the-rotation, fringe-rotation player. That's how he broke in and caught everyone's attention is it was the COVID season. The Celtics were pretty undermanned. Kemba was in and out of the lineup. And there just became this window for Pritchard to get minutes. And he was impressing. Had a game-winning putback against the Heat. He was on the floor in a closing situation against a team that the Celtics had played in the conference finals, what, five months before, if that? 
Yeah. He he's for real. He's always been for real. The problem is in the NBA today, there's just so many guards that even if you look around the league, there's no situation that sticks out. Like, wow, Pritchard would fit right in there. Like what team? Who? Who who does uh, he can he start on any team? Probably not. I wonder if he could start for Toronto. Maybe. Yeah, because it's just Schroeder there now. I think Utah? he could fight for it. Am I missing somebody in Utah? Uh Colin Sexton, Chris Dunn. Sexton, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Clarkson's a solidified six man, so it won't be him. Chris he Dunn started for them a little bit last season. year, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Pritchard just seems like he'll be ready. Like, like I, I think that's the biggest thing with Pritchard, but I do understand like he was clearly frustrated with not playing last season. Um, I genuinely do think he can have a real role in the Celtics next year though. And, and the fact that he cooked Brunson is like all fun and, and it's cool to react to. And it's, it's whatever it shows you. Like I'll put it this way. Best I am number 11 in the division. This is true. <laughs> um, I'm less like looking at this and reacting to this. I'm less impressed that he is. And I saw people tweeting about it when it was announced, like cooking Brunson is fine. Getting past him is cool. Like it shows he's got a nice first step. The fact that he's even on the select team shows that people know he can play. Right. Like, cause as, as much as, you know, Oh, John Jenkins, links and gallery, blah, blah, blah. Like, the like he can play and in coaches and people know like okay this guy is an actual NBA player and they, they didn't invite like <clears throat> I don't know it, it it's just I think it says something the fact that he was even invited to this team and as much as you laugh at the the Micah and the Galloway and the yeah. Jenkins, like those those just seems like throwing guys like maybe they know the coach or maybe like is Jay Wright on the team because didn't John Jenkins play at Villanova like it just seems like there has to be some sort of connection there. To, for them to be on the team. Meanwhile, for guys like Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, they're there for a reason. Quentin Grimes, Peyton Pritchard, like they weren't just, oh, you know, let's let's go. You know, I got lucky. Like, I don't know. It just feels like people around the league know Pritchard can play. And it's not a matter of he's not getting playing time because he's bad. It's just the Celtics guard rotation was stacked last year. Well, I also think the select team is probably a, do you want to play for this team? No. Okay, who's next? Who else can we ask to play? Sure, not, yeah. not to say that, they're just asking anybody. But I think Pritchard says yes to that because he's got something to prove. He's got a chip on his shoulder. We got that sense when the tell-all came out from The Athletic and it was like he might not want to be here if he doesn't have a role. That That's what it says. Is he He's ready to prove himself. He's taking any opportunity he has. And it's good he has a chip on his shoulder. He'll probably get more opportunity than he had last year at the very least. Does he get a solid rotation spot? That's yet to be seen. It's tough to tough to tell in August. We need to see yeah. what the team looks like, how everyone meshes together, what happens with Brogdon. Is Brogdon even healthy? Who knows? They're downplaying his injury. I personally don't think the injury should be a problem. It's been long enough. But in this, at the same time, people are still talking about the injury. So it might be a real thing. And if that's the case, then Pritchard has some minutes carved out for him to impress people. Perhaps to stick in the Celtics rotation, perhaps to up his trade value around the league. Or that's the what I was going to say. Get something worthwhile like trading him for do you think Pritchard is on the team past the deadline next year I think so Mm -hmm. unless something goes terribly 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 wrong almost as terrible as me trying to say terribly uh then he'll be here I think unless he gets really pissed I I just think there is a break glass in case of emergency type need for him value yeah to come off the bench and do you think he's on the Celtics next year like after no, this upcoming season. I don't think you so. Think he's going? Okay. No, I don't think there's any reason for him to stay as a professional. Like he wants to thrive and grow as a player and he's not going to have that opportunity here. The Definitely. only way I could see that is if something goes really wrong with Brogdon and he wants out and they trade him. Yeah. And Pritchard has shown enough. I mean, Pritchard could be an off the bench point guard. That's what I'm that's, saying. People, that's not people to be mad at me when I said that. Mm-hmm. So, if Brogdon is somehow not in the Celtics, sure, I guess he could remain and come back if he wants. I think he's ready to be done playing here. Just just because the I opportunity so is not there. It's not. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. But yeah, we just thought we'd react to that. I, I thought it was a fun fun video. I mean, we'll show him more time. He just quick steps right by John. You muted yourself. Hello? No, I didn't. Hello. Well, whatever you just hit unmuted you. 
Oh, well, uh, I said, Andrew, this video is for you, the Knicks fan. Don't worry. Uh, maybe I was muted. I didn't think I was muted there. That was weird. But thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. How about them Celtics? Leave us five stars on Apple and Spotify and leave a comment on YouTube. That's my favorite part of my day. I'll let Sam take us out. Yeah, leave a comment. Don't leave like 30 like that one guy did today. One guy was just in the comments like <laughs> complaining about Porzingis. Like, thanks for watching. <laughs> one comment or two. No, no, Don't no. Leave, leave as many as you want. Sam, engagement. Think of the channel. Come on. I think if, well, the engagement did not have help the video today. That's for They're sure. not all going to be gems. We're, we're grateful for you anyways. Thank you, everybody. But yes, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel where you are watching. Join over 1,100 others. Subscribe. Hit the uh, notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads this summer. We've been on the grind. We've stayed true to our word. They have come daily. You can also find us on Apple and Spotify, like Jack mentioned. Leave us a nice five-star rating and follow the pod there. You can find us on socials. These shorts will be back this week at How About Them Seas, yes. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Facebook is just the name of the podcast. You can find any live stream we do there or on YouTube. You can follow Jack at Jack Simone NBA on Twitter. You can follow me at Sam LaFrance NBA. Uh, Celtics blog debut soon. That's it for us. Chick Taco, come on.